All right. I think this is recording. I'm going in with the hopes that it's recording. It tells me it's recording, so if it's not recording, this is awkward. But anyway, um, what's up? Gerard here, photographer, creative director, all of the above. I was just like creating. And I am um, actually working on some photos for Foot Locker, Ladies Foot Locker. A campaign we did and I thought to myself yo I've been going through these photos and they've asked me to Photoshop some stuff and I was like I've been doing like so many of these photos I was like yo I should record this <laughs> and so now I'm recording it I don't know why I'm recording it I just felt like recording I feel like somebody else might want to know how to do this because I need to know how to do this because I've never done this before today. I guess that's going in. That's how I learned. I never did I never did this before. So um, I had to learn how to do this. And um, once I learned it, I've been going through them. I was like, yo, this is pretty interesting stuff because I don't really Photoshop my photos like that. So for me to actually do this is actually kind of interesting. So, um, yeah, like I said, I just want to show other people what I'm doing. So, like I said, these photos were for Lady Foot Locker. And um, basically, the campaign was called Blue Skies, and they wanted to shoot these photos in the background. They're supposed to be blue skies, but obviously, um, these skies aren't blue, and that's because it was a very, very cloudy day, um, which made the lighting great, but it didn't fit the concept that the creative director for the shoot wanted. So, um, going in and photoshopping like blue skies in the background is what I'm doing right now. And so, um, just to get started, what I'm basically doing is just making a new layer right here in Photoshop um, and going in and selecting. So I have two copies of this and I'm going in and I'm selecting what I don't want to be sky. So basically all this stuff right here, I want you to be able to see um, the model, the wall, this stuff, the hands. Um, going all this stuff I'm going really fast so I'm just selecting a lot of stuff and I'm gonna go back in and then um, zoom in here control command I'm sorry command I'm on MacBook so I don't know what y'all other people are using but it's team Mac over here you feel me um yeah um take away this area because I do want the sky to be right here not this wall so go back and get this wall I want this wall to be good but this right here is sky, so I want that to be sky. This is hand, so I want this hand to be seen. This right here is sky. Get rid of the sky. It's kind of like, um, remember back in the days of coloring, um, coloring the books, whatever. It's kind of like that, but digitally. So I'm coloring in what I don't want right now. And this is the tool. I don't even think I said the tool name. This is the quick one tool, a quick selection tool. Just hit that with W. So. Case I didn't say, which I know I didn't say, but just so y'all know what I'm doing right now, I'll skip that part. It's my first time doing one of these too, so um, <laughs> I'm probably gonna skip some stuff. If I skip something or I'm going too fast, let me know, leave a comment, um, and let me know because I'm gonna try to do this more more often. Um, and y'all feedback is appreciated. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna Aaron. This Aaron is black. Black. All right. That's pretty good. Um, this campaign. Cool. That's so This campaign. It's so dope. Shout out to the good director tennis. All right. Cool. So I selected. Oh, almost missed that part. Get that there. Um. Did I miss anything else? No, uh, everything else looks super straight. All right, cool. So I uh, did that quick selection tool. So perfect. So now I'm going to go over and add a layer mask right here. See this button right here? It's like a little circle inside of the rectangle. Hit that. And so I now have that outline. And so this is what it looks like. So I have two layers as a background. But without the background, you can see that all this stuff is gone. And so it's just like a cutout. Uh, the sky. So, oh damn, I forgot this part, but don't worry, I'm filling it back in later, so it will be good. Um, so cool, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, so earlier I downloaded a just a 
photo of a blue sky. Hold on a second. Where is that at? Um, blue sky. Is this it? Let me go with this one. What's that most look like? Blue sky. I uh, will go with this one. I like this one. Blue sky. Blue sky. Bring that over. Um, um, here. And we're back. And zoom out. And so, I'm just going to put this blue sky right behind her. Like this. Go ahead and drop. Alright, cool. So, right now, it's below that. And boom. You have a blue sky. Obviously, this is just the rough thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to go over here and multiply that so that it's kind of like see-through, but it's kind of like still, you can kind of see it's kind of still kind of hard. So you want to drop the opacity a little bit, make it look a little bit more realistic. And then um, there's some spots here that I missed. This right here, I can clean up, so I'm going to clean this up real quick. So you clean it up, you're going to see some spots, obviously. Um, you're not gonna see everything all the time. So go there with the brush tool. I hit the B button brush tool right here um, I hit the B button. I know that shortcut. It's a shortcut for it um, Make it a little smaller and I want to go over it with white. I actually gonna move this real quick. I'm in my way <laughs> I'm in my way um, Move that I think the white tools there. All right, cool And actually I'm lying. I want to go black. So let me switch that real quick black cool I don't want to fill that in. I don't want that to get rid of that. So cool. So what I'm doing right now is just filling in that little white area before. Or I'm selecting with the quick select tool, the very first step. I missed some spots and it was white, so that's where the sky's supposed to be at. So I'll get rid of that. And then oh, get rid of that. Switch that tool, get rid of that. Alright, cool. Did I miss anything else? Oh, missed this sky. This is like sky right here. Right, yeah, this is supposed to be sky. So, we'll fill that in. Perfect. Oh, I'll go back in there in a second. So, I'm going in with the stuff that I missed with that, and um, let's clean it right here. All right, cool. And uh, the spots that's, that I did miss on the other side, I switched to white just now. And so there's spots that's not supposed to be sky. You go with the white and now get rid of that. Like that. That's not supposed to be there. This right here is not supposed to be there. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, you zoom out. And there you have it. Oh, move me back out of my way. But yeah, there you have it. Um... A sky photo this is again no sky this is what we started with this is what we finished with let me just group these together um, that's command G bomb do them in a group so you can kind of see bomb this is what we shot the original photo this is with the sky and if the sky if you want to move the sky around you can go back open it back up you want to move the sky around you can go around click on that and I can actually move these clouds so <laughs> depending on what I want I don't want to make it more cloudy or I'm going to make these clouds bigger or whatever. Whatever you want to do. It's so dope, yo. Photoshop, man. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm learning more with Photoshop, and so that's why as I learn, I want to record myself as I learn. Oh, look at that. Did that look, look at that. I moved the sky and saw a spot. I guess that spot was a cloud or something before, and I thought it was original, but now nah, that's actually supposed to be filled in, so bump. Moved it around. A simple move. And I missed some spots by the ear. Let me go back. I'm actually like a perfectionist, so I don't have to do this because it's really not for anything. The campaign is already live. Go check that out on ladyfootlocker.com. Or you can see it. It's probably going to, I'm not sure when you're going to watch this, but if you want to see all the photos that I photoshopped, I actually, I'll, I'll probably make a blog about that. So I might, I'll probably just make a blog. So you can go on my website. So created by Gerard, which is my website. You can go on there and um, you can see all the photos. And I'll show you some more photos that I photoshopped. I did a bunch of these. That's why, like I said, I was like, yo, I did so many of these. I should record this stuff because I'm pretty much like not an expert, but I've done this a lot now. So I've done it. <laughs> so yeah, wow, I like this a lot better. Um, and this looks crazy. It looks real. I mean, oh, um, that's how you do it. Yeah, fine. And yeah, and so that is how you Photoshop a sky into a photo. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did. 
like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, all that stuff. I've never done this before. Whatever y'all doing on YouTube, do all that stuff for this. It would be appreciated. Um, and yeah, um, enjoy. Check out the website. Peace.